More with you and I had track and field coach Dave Paulson. Coach, uh, we talked about the field events a little bit. Uh, on the track, the men's sprinters, uh, really a group that's uh, really rallied around that 400 meter distance. And you've got a number of guys, a couple of seniors uh, that, uh, that really get involved both in the 4x4, but uh, competitive in the Valley in the Open 400. Yeah, that long spin crew has is, is really, uh, done a really nice job for us. I think we have uh, five guys in the top six uh, in the conference right now. Uh, so they, they dabble in the 4 by one as well. Uh, our, we have the top 4 by one time in the conference right now, top 4 by 4 time in the conference, and, and those guys in there in the two and the four. And so it's, it's been nice. And so you got seniors Evan Long, who's leading the conference in the 400. He's sitting second in the 200. Uh, Corey Hertz, who's never missed a final in the 400 in his entire career here at Northern Iowa. And uh, you throw Sven Vandenberg in there, uh, Connor Blau, and Bryce Newcomb, who's another senior, and you have a really outstanding group of five guys that give us a lot of depth and a lot of energy in the sprints. We've got a, we had a story earlier in the show on Cole Phillips, him and Connor Ham and the 110 hurdles. How fun is that just to see them train, continue to push each other in practice? It's great. I mean, they, they really push each other in practice uh, and they, they kind of take turns on who gets the best of who on each day. And that's that's critical going forward. And so uh, right now, Connor leads the conference and, and Cole's in fourth place. But I think from first to fourth, it's it's less than a tenth of a second away. And so when you have that, it's that tight. Every single hurdle matters. And so uh, you got to run a clean race. You got to be moving fast and they get a chance to to challenge each other in practice on a daily basis, and it's a it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of energy, a lot of a lot of trash talk too, but that's that goes into a healthy, competitive environment. And I'm excited to see what these guys can do down the stretch. On the women's side, Maddie McCullough coming off an indoor conference championship. Uh, what are you seeing from her here in the outdoor season? Well, she's just she's she's getting more consistent as we go, and so it's um, you know she's she's looking like she's building in the right direction as we head down uh, the last couple weeks of the season, and that's what she did indoors, you know, and so she didn't really hit it, hit it until the conference meet, which is fine because that's when you want to be at your best, and I think she's in a really good position to do the same thing here outdoors. Lindsey Schinkel, that mid-distance runner, uh, top time. Uh, in 800, but a versatile runner for you. Absolutely, she runs the 4x4 for us, and she's also our top 1500 meter runner, and uh, the, one of the top runners in the Valley in the, in the 800, I think she's ranked second right now. And so, she just the versatility she brings and, and the ability to step in any role we need her to has, has really helped us as a team, having someone that you can rely on in a lot of different areas. All right, as we uh, have more with Coach Paulson coming up later in our show as we preview the NBC Championships right now, here's the story on a discus thrower for the Panthers, Jessica Himes.